Well, hello. Just wanted to uh, kind of showcase a project I've been working on over the past, um, I don't know, maybe a year or so. Um, definitely started as a side project, and I found myself putting more and more time into it kind of as the days go by. So a lot of people ask me, why don't you use Unity? And that's a valid question. Um, Unity would make what I'm doing probably, or I know it would uh, make it a lot easier. And I have used Unity before, and it's great. But uh, since I'm a .NET developer by trade, I wanted to see if I could uh, do a project like this um, within the .NET framework. So that's what I've done. Uh, so currently the game is running in ASP.NET Core um, with a JavaScript uh, front end. So basically a um, JavaScript engine called Enchant.js uh, is what I found to do what I want. Um, and admittedly, that is um, at least six or seven years old, and I actually don't think it has support for it anymore. Um, but it's pretty lightweight, and it does what I need it to do, and I can kind of mold it to, um, to fit, you know, what I need. Um, and then also, uh, kind of on the back end, um, I'm using SignalR, and that lets me do um, server-to-client communication. So can actually showcase that. Um, I have another instance of the uh, browser. Uh, I guess I didn't uh, bring that up, but yeah, this game's running um, in the browser uh, in Chrome at the moment. So if I pull up another instance of the browser and I'll log in as another character, uh, we should see that um, it tells us that the player is online, and there we go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and walk him down here. Uh, and you'll notice that the animations for uh, the other players at the moment aren't smooth it's something I'm still uh, or something I still have in the backlog um, all it is is like I haven't implemented the walk animation for um, the shadows so like any player that joins uh, creates basically just like a, a shell of the player and uh, the server will uh, update all of the players in the area uh, anytime the player moves uh, but at the moment I don't have like that animated so that's why it's kind of choppy right now but I've got all the directions working um, I guess I'll go ahead and just I can just log this guy off. Um, and you'll see, uh, as I do like some other of the scene transitions, that uh, that player didn't actually, or he got logged off, but his sprite is still lingering behind. So it's kind of weird, but that's what demos are for, to uncover bugs, not to actually showcase um, any features or anything. So um, I guess what we can show is the uh, inventory system. So I've kind of got this inventory equipment system set up. Um, I've got just like a handful of items here that I've been using for testing. So actually all of my assets, um, pretty much anything that can be equipped or anything like on the map or any skill that you would use or animations or creatures you would encounter, those are all handled, um, are all created within data files. So I've got some XML files for like the sprites and for the items and for the creatures and for any skills or anything in the game. Um, and that makes it so if I want to make a change for, uh, to a particular item, I don't have to go into the code and regenerate the code. I just have to go uh, update the, um, uh, the data file. Uh, so it's nice. It makes the game a bit more scalable. So if like, I want to add more items, it's super easy. Um, so that's kind of one of the things I wanted to do is, is make sure I'm not like hard coding things. Uh, not to say that there's nothing hard coded because there definitely is um, as this is like rapidly being prototyped. Obviously, I've got a bunch of crap that... Uh, I just have commented <laughs> that's like, oh, delete this when you find a better place to put it. So, uh, but you'll probably find, uh, find that with any kind of new code base as you're getting started. Um, so I can show you uh, some of the things you can do within the inventory system. It's pretty, I guess it's pretty normal. Like you can reorder items. So like I can click the sword. If I want to move the sword around, I can move any of these items around. Um, I can equip uh, these skill gems, which I'm calling insignias. Um, to any item that has uh, an available slot. Um, so there's a couple ways you can figure that out. So like if I want to find out if an item has a slot, I can just look at the item um, and the chat's in the way. I'll just move it down a little bit. Um, you see like this rusty sword, uh, the text is kind of booty. I need to uh, work on that a bit. But if you look at like the bottom, it says sockets, two tier one sockets and they're both empty. So um, I can look and see, okay, yeah, I can equip the insignia to that. Or you can just click the item and the item will give you a list of the uh, suitable targets. So you'll see I can equip it to uh, the shield or the uh, sword, but I can't equip it to the necklace, the potion, or the ring uh, because they don't have any sockets or they're not like a compatible type. Um, so equip it to the sword. 
Um, so that means I can use, uh, well, I guess that was multi-strike. So I actually don't have multi-strike um, working in the game yet. So let's equip this other one. So I had two slots, so I just socketed two items. So if I equip the sword, you see now I've got um, these two uh, skills that can be used in battle. So let's go ahead and like go get in a battle real quick. So I've got this other area set up um, that will do auto encounters. So basically like it's set up where uh, the server will figure out if you encountered a monster or not. And since I've got it set up to do 100% encounters for testing, um, you'll see pretty much the first step I take. Uh, and I guess also that guy is still on the map. <laughs> uh, weird. All right. So I can get into a battle here with the wolf. This is actually the only creature I have in the game uh, at the moment, but it's super easy to add new ones. Like I said, it's literally just a data file. So all I have to do is get like the sprite sheet um, to set up like the attack animation. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, and then just uh, refresh in the game. So let's go ahead and use the uh, sword plunge. So you'll see it said bleeding affliction. Um, basically, I've got a an affliction system as well. So like any sort of uh, bleeding or poisoned or frozen or anything like that um, is in the game, although it's not fully flushed out. Um, but that's something I've got kind of in the backlog and it's something I'm not really too concerned about with like at this time. Um, still working on uh, just kind of getting the basics ironed out and um, obviously fixing any bugs that uh, this demo will uncover. Uh, so let's go ahead and kill the wolf. Uh, you'll see the server told me, hey, you defeated a wolf and you gained 100 experience. So that's great. Um, then it drops a little loot chest, uh, so I can grab these items into my inventory. And that item info panel has been um, kind of bugging me all day. I need to, to fix that. So you'll see every step I get into another battle, but I've got a little shortcut to kind of get around that. Um, and then, yeah, so we'll go back to uh, what I'm calling Larnwick Town. This whole region is called Larnwick. So uh, this is Larnwick Town, so let's get that item out there. Uh, so what else is in the game? Um, I guess I've got some dynamic like terrain objects, so like this campfire, for example. Um, as I walk towards it, the volume increases, and as I walk away, the volume fades away uh, until I'm out of range. So that'll let me do things like, um, you know, adding audio for waterfalls or like running water. Uh, the music going in the background is just some kind of like um, free open source generic um, uh, music I added just like for some ambient noise. Um, but down the line, uh, it might be where I'll um, either purchase some, some music or, or get uh, somebody to uh, compose some for me. Um, but what else can we show off? I guess I've got um, this end set up too. And yeah, the scene transitions still need a little bit of work. I don't know why that item info panel is always around. Um, but just like a little bit of in, uh, of an in here. Um, planning on adding some NPCs. There's no sort of NPCs in the game yet. Um, but that'll be nice to be able to kind of purchase items and, um, you know, talk to people. So make the world a little bit more lively and not so uh, lonely as it is at the moment. Um, so, yeah, I guess uh, I guess one other thing I can show, I've got the um, a command to actually start a battle. So I can do start battle and then you give it um, like a, a creature ID. So I know the wolf is zero. So I can also test battles that way. Um, and it looks like, oh yeah. So there's a bug right now when I do the in battle command like I did before, uh, it doesn't reset the um, the battle order. So uh, right now it thinks it's still the enemy's turn even though he just attacked me, but that's okay. Um, like I said, the demo was uh, <laughs> always about finding bugs. Uh, but that's pretty much all I got at the moment. Um, I'm planning on keeping you guys updated. If there's anything you want to talk about as far as the code goes, um, I'd be down to talk or have that conversation. Or if you just want to talk about game development in general, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. And I'll uh, definitely uh, you know, make sure to respond. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later.